Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your reading for the month of October. This is for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Typically my readings are love readings. We will see whatever comes up. This is the Grand Lux Tarot deck. I don't know where the box is. We're going to start out with this one, then we're going to move on to that one over there to clarify. Um, if this reading doesn't resonate with you, then it just wasn't for you, okay? If you feel confused by it, then it's not for you. And if you don't believe in tarot, then it's not for you. Virgo. Mm, commitment. Happiness. So that's the very first card, the Four of Wands, happiness. So that's the focus, right? Mm, thinking about walking away, perhaps. Or thinking about going back. Could go be either way. Ooh, there could be some family feuds going on, you know. There could be some fighting in the family or fighting at home. Some disruptions. Ooh, so the page of pentacles reversed. This is a... You could be, you know, this is a lack of an apology or a lack of communication. Holding a grudge. Wow. So. There's no action being taken. Somebody is thinking about taking action, but not taking action. Even though there's that, the home life probably isn't very stable at this time. And here we have this transformation that's happening or it's trying to happen but it's like somebody is trying to hinder it hinder the transformation trying to stop it from happening trying to ha ha stop something from ending even though there, it needs to end that's a completion card right now we're in thinking mode right we are Virgo after all right there's lack of confidence and this could even be lack of self-worth or lack of self-respect. Lack of ambition. But happiness is on your mind. Oh my goodness, I just want to be happy. But right now you're, you're feeling overwhelmed. You're feeling overwhelmed with the decision that you have to make, whether to take action or not. Now we have this 10 and this 10. It's like, and this is a death, this is a completion as well. So it's like something needs to end. Right now, you're probably being weighed down. It's very heavy. You have to make a heavy decision. You have to be logical. And I think that you are probably beginning to realize that happiness lies outside of something. You know, because of these completions here. Um, with this Five of Cups reverse, it's like... I feel like you're going through some sort of recovery or you're beginning to have faith again or you're thinking about what is going to make you happy and so you're really, there's, this is a time of really thinking about, I mean, the King of Swords is about thoughts as well. It's very logical, intellectual, trying to make the wisest decision. So that's what's going on here. You guys are trying to make a wise decision. But while you are in this mode of thinking, you are still going through a transition. And I think that you have these, this, these fears of broadening your horizons, but you want to broaden your horizons. You just don't, you lack the confidence to do so. Okay, you have, you lack the confidence to take action, even though happiness is your, your long-term happiness and bliss is your long-term goal. So... I guess we'll take that one. Ooh. So we have the Ace of Coins reversed. Somebody's in a situation that isn't stable. 
And I could see it right here. It's not stable. It's not secure. You may be throwing away a better opportunity because it, you know how it, it's like. I mean, hey, we're going to get clarifiers with the other deck, but for some reason that card wanted to come out. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to keep this one. This is a golden opportunity, like, falling away. It's like you, you, you can't see it, or you're, you're just not noticing it, or you're not accepting this opportunity. It's like you have a new opportunity waiting for you, looking at you. You do. You do. But you're not taking it. You're not taking it. In this case, there's no action being taken. So there's, a, there's an opportunity that's not being accepted. You know, endings bring new beginnings. They do. They do. And so I don't know why you're so afraid. Virgo. Whew. This is the three of wands reversed. It's like you're you're being called to move forward, but you're afraid. <laughs> Same story. You're afraid to explore. You're afraid to, you know, go into unknown territory, right? Oh, look at this. Same card. Both reversed. There's lack of abundance where you're at. Probably in a commitment that you're in. <laughs> you know, it's like there's no more fertility. There's no more growth. There's probably, there could be some, some fighting going on. There's definitely lack of communication. And you're being called to, to get the hell out. Master your emotions, take the lead, find that discipline, replace that fear of the unknown, replace it with faith, and get yourself back where you need to be. You're not being grounded. You're not. You're not being grounded. I mean, this is you throwing away an, an opportunity, a golden opportunity at that, okay? You're throwing it away because... You're not being realistic, okay? You're not being practical about something. You're trying to be. You're absolutely trying to be, but it's like, I think you you are trying to, you don't want to give up, right? You don't want to give up. Because it's not in your nature, right? It's not in your nature to give up. You've gained a lot of wisdom through the years, and you know that, Giving up is weak, and you are not weak. So I feel as though, you know, you're not looking at, looking at it through a grounded approach, okay? It's, <laughs> it's time to fly. You're going to have to take a risk. You're being called to take a risk to not bring the baggage with you. It's time to be reborn again. Okay, it is. You've reached the point where there's there's nothing left but to to come out. I mean, it's time to come out. It is. It's time for your new beginning. I gotta do is push. You could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, so we have everybody. But this right here, this is mastering your emotions. It is definitely time to master your emotions. Okay, it is. 
Get your emotions in check. I think there's an opportunity for a new beginning here. Big time, big time, big time, big time. But you have to be realistic with your desires, with your happiness, with your needs. You have a choice. You have a choice between two people. Could be any sign. You need to find your confidence. You need to take the lead. You need to love yourself. You need to do the honorable thing. What is the honorable thing anyway? Following your heart? Is that the honorable thing? Son of a bitch. <laughs> following your heart. Look what just happened. This is following your heart. But you're not in reversed. Oh, they do it all the time. You guys have seen it over and over and over again. Okay? Somebody is not following. I said, what is the choice? I said, following your heart? And here we go. Somebody's not following their heart. Because they feel like it's not the practical thing to do. But it is the practical thing to do. Because you're not being practical right now. Sorry. I don't like to say that. I'm Virgo rising. Um, now, this queen of pentacles is not nurturing herself. Her or him not nurturing yourself. I mean, come on now. So you don't matter? I don't matter? You, come on now. What is this? It's time to fly. It's time for me to fly. Because you're beautiful. You're beautiful. It's like, I mean, come on now. Right together. Son of a gun. Like I said, it's, it's time to push. It's time for you to get that miracle. It's time for you to deal with the pain. It's been going on for a while, hasn't it? It has. This has been going on for what takes a long time to get to here. It does. You had to go through a lot to get to here, right? You did. You've been through a lot of uncomfortable... Whatever you want to call it. Uncomfortable... Uh, circumstances it's been uncomfortable now all you gotta do is is deal with the real pain you know the pain that's at the end of that uncomfortableness you know when you get to the end bridge you get to that pain of the uncomfortableness then all of a sudden you get the real pain it's like shit you know them contractions they hurt but then you get your miracle so you've got to face this pain. You have to face this pain. It's going to give you the wisdom that is going to propel you through life. It really is. The strength that you need. It's going to make you more beautiful. This whole experience is going to make you happier than you ever thought possible <laughs> but it ain't gonna be easy it's not easy it's not to give birth to your soul to give birth to your new beginning that you've been dreaming of and cultivating through subconsciously, okay? Universe hears your thoughts. They know what you're dreaming of. They do. It's been cultivating. You've been cooking. It's been cooking, okay? What's, what's happening now?
This is the Five of Cups. Breakup, perhaps? What's happening now? Regrets? Disappointment? Loss? You're going through some difficulty right now dealing with this pain? Yeah, yeah, you might need a freaking epidural. Anyway, um, yeah. It hurts. You have to, you're gonna face it. You have, this is true pain, the Five of Cups. But you have to realize that there is, there are more opportunities. Because right now, this right here is the Three of Cups reversed. Right now you are in a situation that is lacking abundance. It's lacking fertility. It's lacking appreciation. You know, there's no, there's no togetherness. It's like, I'm not even happy here. And it's only your own fault. Because you can, you're ready to go. You're ready. You're ready. You're, you've already cooked. Your time is up. It's, it's time to go. It's time to go. It is. You've been prepared. You're, you've been prepared for it. It's time to go. But right now, you're just sacrificing yourself needlessly. Look at him. Hanging on, but he ain't happy. Not happy about this. But hanging on. Discontent. I'll just stick it out forever. Look at him. Not happy at all. It's a change of course. The wheel of fortune. This, whatever is happening right now, this rebirth that you are going through is meant to happen. It's happening for a reason. It's happening to bring you something better. You should be considering this a lucky break. It's a win-win situation when you allow yourself to fly. When you push through the pain you are going to find something much, much better. Good, something good. This is good fortune coming. This is the change of course that is meant to happen to change your life for the better. Something good is coming. But, I don't know when because you're still hanging on to something. You're stuck. And you know, if you, the hangman, you have to struggle through. This is about needing to struggle. You have to struggle. It's, you know, you have to struggle through the pain to get your good fortune, which is also destined. This is destined. This change that is happening is destined to happen. So I wouldn't even fight it if I was you. I mean, why fight it? It's just going to bring you more struggle. Why prolong it? Why? It's time to deal with this conflict. This is the five of wands reversed. It's going to crash. It's going to crash. That is going to crash. But you're trying to avoid it, right? You're trying to avoid that crash. You can't avoid this destined change. It's going to happen. Trying to avoid the conflict, right? But... <laughs> like with the moon the moon is about cycles you can't you can't I mean the moon is about cycles it's about hidden forces it's a it's kind of like a universal card what is meant to be is meant to be what isn't meant to be isn't meant to be and this is fears and this is about coming back down to reality and facing your fears and the conflict so that you can get what you deserve you can so that Destiny can play out. You need to get moving. 
quickly. Queen of Swords reversed. You know what's happening? Is you're growing resentful and bitter. And it's right over this hanged man who's miserable. Okay? You're growing resentful and bitter, not wanting to deal with the conflict. That's what happens. That's what happens on the inside. Not wanting to face the unknown. Remaining, sacrificing yourself needly. Look at the look on his face. He is not happy. But hanging on anyway, because you don't love yourself. There's that Ace of Pentacles upright. Thank you, Lord. There's a golden opportunity waiting for you to take it. You can take it, you're going to throw it away. You have manifested something into your life subconsciously. It's here. It's looking at you. All you got to do is stop sacrificing yourself and take it. Right now. This is the Sacred Traveler deck. Oh, we got two. Didn't you get lucky? You, are, you do have an opportunity to get lucky. When I said those words, that Wheel of Fortune is get lucky. So yeah, you have a surgical, you do have a circumstance that is coming up. Where it's a lucky break. It is. Please don't throw it away. Cleansing waters. Purification activates vibrant life force. To achieve fulfillment, purify yourself and your surroundings. Space clear your environment. Clear out clutter. In order to release old beliefs, stagnant energies, and auric grunge, that you have may have picked up it's necessary to cleanse and purify yourself and your home let go of the old discarded and unused eat lightly drink fresh water and simplify your life shower or bathe with the intention that all that is not needed is washing away and that's what needs to happen The traveler periodically takes time from the journey to seek holy waters for purification and renewal. Standing under the mystical cleansing waterfall, the voyager knows her energy field is being cleansed. Past life limitations are washing away and limiting beliefs are dissolving. Sometimes the traveler pur purifies in a stream or a mountain lake or next to the ocean waves, but also by simply standing in the rain or drinking refreshing waters. In each moment, there is the knowing that the water is clearing out what is stagnant and replacing it with shimmering, shimmering, sparkling energy. Find as many ways as possible to use water as a cleansing force in your life, all with the intent of purifying your life so greater energy can emerge. First Light Beginning a new cycle. Remember, we talked about cycles. A new day has begun in your life. You are at the beginning of a new cycle. It's time to release the old and start again. Same, release the old. I mean, come on now. Wape the slate clean. Although it's often difficult to release familiar routines, situations, or relationships that no longer empower you, it's now time to set your sights on the future and let go of the past. I mean, come on now. There's an opportunity for a new beginning here, a golden opportunity. It's destined. I mean, that's all I can say. <laughs> 